In the headlines, Prime Minister Skyweet names his new cabinet after the DLP's landslide victory, winning 18 seats in the 6th December general elections. Senior Counsel Anthony Astefan says the burden is on the opposition United Workers' Party to prove in court that the 6 December elections were stolen. And the Dominica Council on Aging continues to express concern over incidents of elder abuse. I'm Andrea LV with the Channel 5 News, back with the details after this. Flo is bringing you the best Christmas deals. Unwrap great prepaid deals like the ZTE Blade A3 Lite for $169 with a 7-day always-on prepaid plan and free gift. Amazing postpaid deals start with a Samsung Galaxy A10s for $159 when you sign up for a medium or large postpaid plan with unlimited weekend minutes to talk and talk this holiday. So this Christmas, get the latest phones at the best prices on the fastest network. Because with Flo, Christmas only gets better. Visit discoverflow.co. Terms and conditions apply. Here are some tips to reduce mosquito presence in and around your home. Keep water storage containers properly covered. Remove containers that can collect water from your surroundings. Keep garbage bins tightly covered. Pick up your litter and remove all tires from your yard. Keep gutters free of leaves and twigs to prevent stagnant water. Prevent Zika, Dengue and Chikungunya. Fight the bite! This is a public service announcement from the Dominica Red Cross. This message is supported by Flo. Flo is bringing you the best Christmas deals. Unwrap great prepaid deals like the ZTE Blade A3 Lite for $169 with a 7-day always-on prepaid plan and free gift. Amazing postpaid deals start with a Samsung Galaxy A10s for $159 when you sign up for a medium or large postpaid plan with unlimited weekend minutes to talk and talk this holiday. So this Christmas, get the latest phones at the best prices on the fastest network. Because with Flow, Christmas only gets better. Visit discoverflow.co. Terms and conditions apply. Thank you for staying with us. First up, Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt has taken on greater responsibilities as he named his new cabinet at a ceremony at the Windsor Park Stadium Tuesday afternoon. The Prime Minister took his oath of office as Minister on Tuesday morning, administered by His Excellency Charles Savre. Mr. Skerritt, who was already responsible for finance, is now also responsible for the economic affairs, investment, planning, resilience and sustainable development portfolios. The Prime Minister has also taken on telecommunications and broadcasting, which formed part of Kelva Darrow's portfolio. Daru has bowed out of active politics to pursue personal goals and has been succeeded by Dr. Alice King, newly elected parliamentary representative for St. Joseph constituency. The naming of the Labour government's new cabinet comes in the wake of plans by the opposition United Workers' Party to challenge the results of the 6 December general elections in court. It's the view of the UWP leadership as well as that of the Freedom Party that the new DLP government is illegitimate. The December 6 poll gave the DLP 18 seats and reduced the UWP to three. As far as the UWP's plan to challenge the election results in court, Senior Counsel Anthony Astafan says this. What I will say at this time is that if they repeat or duplicate what was said in their application to the court before the election, I don't think that's going to get very far. The other thing, too, they're going to have to convince the court that massive irregularities occurred, which none of the observers saw. I mean, all of the observers said that there were no irregularities on the day of the election, and the election was uh, conducted in accordance with the law and international best practices. So that's going to be an interesting challenge for them. And the other one I'm assuming is going to be that, well, the Labour Party flew in 8,000 um, voters to to steal the election. If that's where they're going, well, they're dead from the start because the diaspora has put out a statement saying that including everybody, including children, observers, members of the media, it was 2,000-something people that came in during that time, a difference of only 500 um, from the year before. Astafan says the EWP's charges of a stolen election is part of a fake news campaign because it seems to me that they're going to have 
um, to try to campaign, to continue their campaign of fake news in order to have a chance of winning this, 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 or getting past the, the, the starting post with the selection petitions. But we will wait and see what's happening. But I think that the vast majority of us, and in fact the region, the world, the OAS, the American um, government, the regional government, CARICOM, Commonwealth, um, all of the other stakeholders that, that the country deals with have accepted the results as free and fair and are marching on while Mr. Linton is caught in his vortex of, of, of his own creations, that is his fake news of corruption and, and fraud and, and stealing of an election. And you cannot win a case with something stuck in your head. In more developments, special emphasis to be placed on the versatility of one of Dominica's main root crops. We again join Julian Morris with more. This is one of the aims of Dexia's strictly local Christmas village, carded to run from Wednesday 18th to Friday 20th December. The Food and Nutrition Branch of the Dominica Health and Wellness Association will be spearheading what is dubbed Christmas in Cassava. Christmas in Cassava is a presentation that is intended to put the spotlight on cassava as a traditional food resource that we all know that we probably have not done much with other than make cassava bread and um, and for right. So we are really excited to bring forward this presentation. By the way, why cassava? Why cassava? Now, according to um, the latest reports from the FAO, Cassava has now acquired a new status globally in agriculture. And the status is that it, it, it is now being recognized as one of the most resilient crops on planet Earth. Charles says a variety of cassava-based products, including cassava bakes and croquettes, will be available during the Christmas village to encourage uh, people to expand their use of cassava. We have selected 12 of the numerous cassava products that we developed, so I'll name to you very quickly. The 12 products that you can expect to um, find at the cassava table. There is the cassava fruit cake, and we also have the rock cake that we're making with the coconut and the spices. Uh, and by the way, some of these um, samples are already on display at the table on the back, right? We have a cassava tart, we have a cassava pie, we also have the cassava quiche, the cassava pizza, cassava lasagna. Cassava sandwich, which is really a hit. We also have a, a very interesting, a new variety of cassava bread we developed, which is called the cassava composite bread, which is like 60% um, cassava flour and 40% um, um, of the, the imported flour. Head of the Export Promotion and Development Department, who is also chairman of the Strictly Local Christmas Village Planning Committee, Lloyd Pascal, says this uniquely Dominican event will showcase the quality of products made in the country. That is exactly what we want to present, a uniquely Dominican event where we can promote all things local. We can promote the hard work of our producers. And as I said, many times we, we tend to you know, move towards the imported items more than what we produce locally. And I believe that this is going to be an event where we will highlight the items that are produced locally. And like Mr. Thomas said, they are not just local poor quality. No, they are not. They are local yet high quality items. And we stress that because we at Dexia, we believe in, in offering quality products The European Union has provided the Caribbean Public Health Agency, CAFA, with a grant of 4 million euro or 4.5 million US dollars to support efforts to combat mosquito-borne diseases in the Caribbean. The assistance will be channeled through a four-year health strengthening program designed to further improve the prevention, detection and control of outbreaks of mosquito-borne diseases such as Zika and Dengue. The project will involve activities to strengthen vector control programs in CAFA member states. It will also provide support for institutional capacity for detection as well as regional coordination in response to possible related infectious outbreaks. CAFA is responsible for coordinating public health policy and responses to public health issues in CARICOM member states. 
It recently completed a successful first phase of a similar EU-funded program, which focused on the Zika outbreak at a cost of 770,000 U.S. dollars. You are watching the Channel 5 News. Stay tuned for more after the break. Flow is bringing you the best Christmas deals. Unwrap great prepaid deals like the ZTE Blade A3 Lite for $169 with a 7-day always-on prepaid plan and free gift. Amazing postpaid deals start with a Samsung Galaxy A10s for $159 when you sign up for a medium or large postpaid plan with unlimited weekend minutes to talk and talk this holiday. So this Christmas, get the latest phones at the best prices on the fastest network. Because with Flow, Christmas only gets better. Visit discoverflow.co. Terms and conditions apply. There's a reason you get up on a morning. A reason you pick yourself up, start the day. Maybe it's sheer grit. Maybe it's your ethics. Maybe it's because you know people like you are waiting. For people just like you. We all have our reasons. And for Republic Bank, that reason is you. Every little thing, every big thing. It's all about making a difference in your life. Because after 182 years, if it's one thing we're sure about, is that the difference is you. We're here to help. Republic Bank. We're the one for you. Si ou ni maladi HIV, e bien maladi sexual. Si ou pa protege ko lou kan sex ek plizyan moun. Sakay mete la vi ou ak gwo danje. Ou ka expose tout pat na ou prezan ek an tan ki ka vini ek maladi ya. Seve yon kondom chak fwa ou ka ni sex. Chanje ki, i epotan pou dekouve maladi ya pou ne. Ou sa viv ak bon soti, menm si ou ni maladi HIV. Pwen responsabilite, proteje ko ou e bi li zot. Examine ko ou. Ede dou bout si men maladi HIV et lot maladi seksual. Flow is bringing you the best Christmas deals. Unwrap great prepaid deals like the ZTE Blade A3 Lite for $169 with a 7-day always-on prepaid plan and free gift. Amazing postpaid deals start with a Samsung Galaxy A10s for $159 when you sign up for a medium or large postpaid plan with unlimited weekend minutes to talk and talk this holiday. So this Christmas, get the latest phones at the best prices on the fastest network. Because with Flow, Christmas only gets better. Visit discoverflow.co. Terms and conditions apply. Welcome back. President of the Dominica Council on Aging has continued to express concern over incidents of elder abuse in society. Ophelia Marie told the Channel 5 News one of her main worries is that family members abuse those within the home circle. We're still in the process of understanding the magnitude, if there is one, of um, the abuse to the elderly. We know that it is still happening and we also know it's happening even among persons who are living within the family unit, senior persons. Um, some people will not talk because the persons who are abusive towards them are within their family, are the same persons giving them company are the same persons who are taking care of them or paying for somebody to take care of them. So some are not speaking. Mrs. Marie says there are various forms of abuse which senior citizens are subjected to. And I can tell you there are various types of abuse. There's the physical, where they get blows, their hair is pulled, where their lunch is late, where people take time to let them bathe, for example, or make them feel comfortable in their own homes. There are some uh, um, seniors who are relegated to a particular room and cannot come out and live like a full-fledged member of the family. And just because it's harder for us to turn around and clean a second time if they have an accident like a glass of juice falling or things of that nature, the Council on Aging president is urging the wider public to report cases of elder abuse to help curb the problem. But we are hoping that when people realize the extent of abuse to the elderly, that they will call out, either anonymously or in some other way, so that something can be happening in a positive way for those elders who have been and are sometimes being abused up to now. 
$15,000 needed to bring the respite center up to par to restart its original operations. Julian Morris explains. The respite center in Portsmouth was constructed to provide daycare services for physically and mentally challenged children in the north and the northwest of the country. Following Hurricane Maria, the center served as a shelter for families in the Portsmouth area, causing the challenged children to remain home with their parents. Innsworth Irish, president of PASIS, that is parents advocating for the inclusion of children with disabilities in society, says thousands of dollars are needed to restore the interior of the building due to the wear and tear caused by the shelterees. Over the last four weeks or so, the last resident and the family left the um, center and I inspected the place recently and of course it's really in a state of, uh, I can, for want of a better word, disrepair if you will. And it will cost us, no exaggeration, at least $15,000 to bring back the center in terms of fixing up things in there. Our electricity, of course, has been disconnected because we had huge bills. The water bill has been going up excessively. I had to write to Dora School in October and ask them to dis disconnect because, you know, that bill was really climbing. And um, the, the, the physical structure... It's all right, but in terms of the aesthetics and, you know, fixing windows and doing certain things here and there, it's not up to mark. In terms of funding for these repairs, the PASIS president says this has to be discussed with the board. However, government subvention will assist in this venture. Well, quite frankly, the government have been assisting us tremendously. And I can tell you, I had made a request to the, the government sometime early this year, um, you know, while the people were still at the centre. And the government did give us um, a bit of an increase in subvention. So we still have a little, we have some funds there. We have to pay our bills, of course. And from there, we will, um, um, you know, see how we can work out things. But I would hope that um, you know, soon we should get an additional subvention from government, which will help to, you know, boost um, the, the repairs in terms of paying our bills and paying um, the salaries to the new staff. So we've been getting the government support. And, um, uh, yeah, we need that um, help to continue so that we can get things going. Irish hopes to have the refurbished centre opened within the first quarter of 2020. One of the benefits of the centre was that it allowed parents to pursue gainful employment while their children were being taken care of. The parents have been clamouring, calling, wanting to know because, you know, some 15 um, children with disabilities, they were at the centre. It's a daycare respite and um, persons were actually empowered to go to work because their children were at the um, center. So we're looking at the end of January. I, it's, it's going to be a tight, a tall order. But um, the, as I said, the board will meet in a fortnight or so uh, to you know, chat the way forward. The respite center in Chance, Portsmouth, catered to 12 special needs children before Hurricane Maria struck. And a message of hope to other young people in the Caribbean and the wider world by this year's Miss World, Jamaican Tony Ann Singh. She posted this message on Twitter, open quote, To that little girl in St. Thomas, Jamaica, and all the girls around the world, please believe in yourself. Please know that you are worthy and capable of achieving your dreams. This crown is not mine, but yours. You have a purpose, close quote. The 23-year-old Miss Singh won from a field of 111 contestants at the 69th edition of the pageant in London on Saturday. She now becomes the fourth Jamaican to win the title. Carol Joan Crawford in 1963, Cindy Breakspear in 1976, and Lisa Hanna in 1993. Flow is bringing you the best Christmas deals. Unwrap great prepaid deals like the ZTE Blade A3 Lite for $169 with a 7-day always-on prepaid plan and free gift. Amazing postpaid deals start with a Samsung Galaxy A10s for $159 when you sign up for a medium or large postpaid plan with unlimited weekend minutes to talk and talk this holiday. So this Christmas, get the latest phones at the best prices on the fastest network. Because with Flow, Christmas only gets better. Visit discoverflow.co. Terms and conditions apply. Here are some tips to reduce mosquito presence in and around your home. Keep water storage containers properly covered. Remove containers that can collect water from your surroundings. Keep garbage bins tightly covered. Pick up your litter and remove all tires from your yard. Keep gutters free of leaves and twigs to prevent stagnant water. Prevent Zika, Dengue and Chikungunya. Fight the bite! 
This is a public service announcement from the Dominica Red Cross. This message is supported by Flo. Flow is bringing you the best Christmas deals. Unwrap great prepaid deals like the ZTE Blade A3 Lite for $169 with a seven-day always-on prepaid plan and free gift. Amazing postpaid deals start with a Samsung Galaxy A10s for $159 when you sign up for a medium or large postpaid plan with unlimited weekend minutes to talk and talk this holiday. So this Christmas, get the latest phones at the best prices on the fastest network. Because with Flow, Christmas only gets better. Visit discoverflow.co. Terms and conditions apply. To end the news, the headlines again. Prime Minister Skerritt names his new cabinet after the DLP's landslide victory, winning 18 seats in the 6th December general elections. Senior counsel Anthony Astafan says the burden is on the opposition United Workers' Party to prove in court that the 6th December elections were stolen. And the Dominica Council on Aging continues to express concern over incidents of elder abuse. Feel free to contact us at news at marpin2k4.com. You can also access our past newscasts on our YouTube channel. On behalf of the entire production team, I am Andrea Louis. And to all of our viewers around the world, thank you so much for watching. Join us next time.